Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Mortals of Avium. In the last episode, we tried to stop Sandrak from taking down the Pentasod, and he got really mad at us, tried to attack us, but that's whenever the contract that Thaddeus made with him, basically saying he's not allowed to hurt us, it kicked into effect and blasted him back. And so the Pentasod was going to try to basically stop him and everything and started levitating us and whatnot. But then Sandrak escaped through one of his portal things and the Pentasod transported us to Rook in order to get his help and everything. And so we had a nice discussion with Rook. It was awesome. I highly suggest watching the last episode because the story stuff was really great. Great dialogue. Really interesting. Really, the story is fantastic. And so we made our way back here. Um, after asking him and the Alori for help and everything. It's kind of funny that they're all over there talking because I didn't know that the other Alori could talk. Huh. Anyways, um, so we made our way back here. Kirkin was basically going to go, if the Lori didn't show up any second, which they didn't immediately, uh, she was going to go ahead and side with Sandrak and help his forces, but not necessarily help him. She didn't want to join his forces, but basically they're going to lesser sort of two evils kind of situation, just use them all to get rid of the wound. Wasn't going to listen to us. And whenever we, the, the Lori showed up, I almost said Larry, uh, <laughs> the Larry. Anyways, sorry, that joke still sticks with me. Anyways, um, so whenever they did show up and we were showing them how, yeah, basically the way it's supposed to work is we use magic. It causes corruption. The Lori take that magic and corruption and send it back to where it's supposed to go. Wound never happens. Everyone lives happily ever after. I'm very much summarizing. Zadara was like, wait, so we could actually fix everything, go back to normal. We just have to coincide with these people. And that's whenever Thaddeus stepped in and said, actually, yeah, that makes sense with his research because everything went to absolute crap whenever we banished their people. So, Zendara took command because she was like, uh, no, Karkin, we're not going with your plan. We are actually going to side with the Aluri and we're going to take down Sandrak and help the Pentasod. And she tried to pull rank on her, but that's whenever Thaddeus stepped in and was just like, uh, you do realize... She is actually the queen of this land, and by also wartime stuff and everything, and based on uh, everything that happened, she's also the commanding officer here as well, so no, you do not have power of authority over her, and it was awesome. I highly suggest you watch it. This is a very long summary, just because I love what the story did in the last episode. It was so good. Again, I suggest you watch it because the line deliveries, some of the jokes made everything were awesome. But anyways, we're going to continue forward, speak to Zendara, and hopefully be able to take down Sandrak and save the Pentasod and save all of Avium. So remember to like the video if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more. Without further ado, let's get right to it. Oh, that was wow, that was a lot of talking. That's an understatement. Are you doing okay about Kirkin? Of course I'm not. But what's done is done. So do I call you Grand Magnus now, or what? Do you ever give things time to process, Initiate? So you're saying we should table it and go? I am. Are you ready? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's go. Air commanders have their final orders, sir. We're ready to embark and engage Earthward. Keep our scrying officers silent until I give the signal. Sandrak still thinks we're coming to help. They won't know what hit him. Just need to get close enough to drop us on Sandrak's flagship. My boys will break away and try to dampen whatever Sandrak's spells have got its hooks in the Pentasod, pulling it through. Good a plan as any, except, well... <clears throat> our airships are powered by magic. How are we supposed to transport the Alori? You ain't. Fellas, time to gussy up. <laughs> oh, my born days, I wanted to see that. We can really do this. Okay, that was really cool. I wasn't expecting them to sprout wings and fly. Like, whenever he said that, I was like, okay, they're gonna probably get wings or have, like, a jetpack or be able to float using some sort of inherent magic, but no, that was way cooler. Did he really just yell wahoo? I was feeling it. Sir, Roshani and Ashley bearing for the Alori. We can't stop it. You have to, Captain. We can't do this without them. 
Strip it! Oh! Never mind, sir. Holy shit. Not bad. This is all on you now, Initiate. No, no. Last time it was just up to me, I made the biggest mistake of my life. We're only going to win this one together. Sit your love. About time he's working with her, right? Oh, the characters in this are so good. Okay, you. Okay, yeah, you shield shattered me, which was not very nice. Okay, can this get up high enough to hit now? Where'd you go? Where? I don't even know where you went. Where are you? There you are. Nice. Yeah, tag team Zadara. Tag team. And hello. I, I don't. I hate how it sometimes hits the wrong D pad button, because that wasn't even me that time. Okay, let's just go ahead and use this and take you out, because you're annoying me. This is so hard to aim, because the crosshair is... it glows too, so it's hard to see. There we go, you're down. The most annoying one. Okay, you're down. You wanna fight? Let's fight. You're down. You're down. Okay, cool. It looks like that was all of you. Right, make sure we pick up all these items. Nice, nice, nice. Gotta stay full up. Stop moving, you annoying little twerp. There we go. Okay, we got another ascension, which is good. I got your back. There we go, nice. Two for the price of one. You. I probably also need to use my ascension points soon to increase my damage, maybe, or possibly my shield health would be better. Not you green people, I don't like you. down your regen. Oh, come on, seriously? I switched, and it wasn't reloading. There we go. Good damage, good damage. There we go, you're down. Zendara fighting down here, big guy. Okay, take you out. Well, that hit hard. Don't know how that happened. Take it. Initiate. I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, refill. Here we go. Nice and full. Okay, doorway. Jack! Get down! Oh, 
That's one way to get in. Great, but we don't have Zendara anymore. Gotta get rid of you as quick as possible. If I can, I probably need to get an upgrade that lowers my reload times, because that still seems to be killing us here. Where did that come from? Who do I need to kill? Where are you guys at? I don't even see you. Oh, you're up there, which is in a way. Nice. Okay. Oh, there you are. Gotcha. Where is this last guy? Ooh, there's a forge. I'll definitely use the forge if we can. There you are. Gotcha. Okay, I'll go ahead and fill you up. Okay, forge. What can we do? Okay, no new craft, which is fine. Okay, we don't have tons of money, so what can we do? Should we upgrade our Nova? I do use my red a lot, and the blast wave a lot. I think I will. We can always upgrade this again to upgrade my armor some more, and all match power. I think I might, how much do I need? I need 22, so I need 18, a little less than 18, about 16, yeah, 16. So let's go ahead, um, should have better arc lights, right? Yeah, I have a legendary arc light and a legendary javelin, so I can get rid of all those. Get arc lights. Get rid of the javelin. Oh, come on, really? Ah, uh, okay, the menus are sometimes very annoying. Get rid of all of them just so I have the full money back. There we go. And I can actually craft the ones I just got rid of, right? I believe that's how it works. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Great you for the more armor. Um, I should be able to upgrade something else possibly, right? Maybe not. I kind of want to upgrade you again. Just increases our melee damage, so it doesn't actually... And, you know, our course, our base damage and everything. You know what? I might actually. I need... 26, so I need only 10,000 more. So I can get rid of you. Because, right, I have a frag fire and a burst fire. Yeah, I'm fine. So I can get rid of you. And I think that was plenty. No, I'm like, what, one short? Oh, I don't have a legendary essence. Oops. Oh, well, okay, so... Can't upgrade our legendary stuff. I can upgrade this if I wanted to. I might just for now. <laughs> There we go, just so we have at least some stronger green damage, but there we go. Okay, let's keep going. Everything's full up, upgraded, ready to go. Uh, I need to hit a green and two blues to activate that, so I see red. Red. And a green. Oh, that was two reds and a green, not... Okay, I got the colors wrong. To make sure I didn't miss a chest or something up in this room. That looks like no, there was already stairs up here anyway, so I didn't even have to do that. Okay. It was just a quick way up there. Cool. Well, here we go. Epic battle. Now let's switch to this just so I have this. Oh, that's so cool. I think I just went in a big circle. But there was a chest over here, so I guess it was worth it. I'm supposed to grab onto something. Well, there's the pentaside. Um, I think I need to go over to there. Ah, I see. Sweet. Ooh, okay. 
Heh, <laughs> I got the credit for that kill. I appreciate that. Lowering the thing I need. First fire. Oh, you're pretty tough. Well, here, can I do this? And this. Nice. Good damage. Good damage. Oh, no, this is bad. Health crystal, health crystal. Thank you. There we go, check some of them out. So much explosion going on. Can't see, can't see. some health crystals, because I could use some health crystals. Not like super in dire need, but it would be nice. That definitely help with the burst fire and everything. Much appreciated. Um, okay, I can shoot you on a timer. Shoot you. Oh, come on. Okay, I needed to get up here, I believe, to shoot, right? Yeah. And I can't activate you with this, can I? No, I can't. Oh, cool, I can reach from here, though. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. This is getting very intense. Woo, okay, Pentasod is screaming, I think. That's a scary noise. All sorts of explosions going on. Oh man, the poor thing is shackled. Let's see, can we get over to it and help it? Looks like I can get up over there. Yeah, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh -oh. Getting close to Sand's rack. Should I wait for you? There's no time. Go. Oh dear, Snapples. Uh guess we go in. I was trying to see if there was somewhere else I was supposed to go, but nope, this looks like it. Jack, Kirken betrays me with a doomed assault with you at the head. No. She was still all in on your plan, but my friends and I had a different idea. Oh, -ho. you turned against her. Wonderful. I've had a good influence on you. They're the key, Sandrak. If you really want to heal the wound, you're going to let them finish. You know I'm right. I admit, your army of gargoyles is something I didn't see coming. Children of the Pentasad, are they not? Cruel of you to bring them just to see it die. You must want to build yourself a little family of orphans again. After all you have seen, you still Good. insist on prolonging the world's suffering. Leisure. Take down your shield, buddy. Get better at the timing on that. Should I fall, Avian will follow. Where'd you go? Shirk. I hate teleporters. Okay, I gotta let that recharge. Oh, you drained my mana. Or no, I ran out of mana. He didn't drain it, I think I did. At least I hope so. Where'd you go? There you are. Let that recharge. Okay, heal up. I 
his meter too for whenever it glows. Heal up. What's he doing? Okay. I better not have what did I need to get in his shield? Oh that sucks. It didn't tell me that. That sucks. I was doing so well too. I was like dodging everything and it was like probably one of my best on prolonging the world's suffering. Watch his meter. There we go. Stand behind him, right? Yeah, I think this is fine. I just had to stand behind him. Can you hear it, Jack? In all of its varied hues of panic, the realization that even immortality is fleeting. Traitor returned at last. You dishonor everything I gave you, sister. That Rashan gave you. You're so full of shit. You sold our people a dream you abandoned the moment I handed you the power to fulfill it. <clears throat> you don't always have to wait until I'm on the ropes to swoop in, you know? I don't. You're just always on the ropes. Do you know awesome. how many Lucians she's killed, Jack? And you, sister. How many of your countrymen have died at this time? Okay, I want to go pick this up real quick. There we go. Bring your shield down. Oop, I didn't mean to do that when I went to do this one. Ooh. Whoa, what's he doing? What's he doing? Where are you? There you are. Okay, where'd he go? Ooh, okay, there you are. Or, nope, wait, he's up there. I'm so glad she does shields. Wow, she resisted it too, and she doesn't even have the protection thingy. Mana crystal. Go ahead and heal up once. Come on, this should be back up. Yes, okay, heal up, heal up, heal up. Thank you. Got it, I'm behind you. <laughs> Sandra almost didn't make it that time. I'm gonna go ahead and restore this just so we don't have to worry about it. Ooh, green shield. This one's the annoying one. I will erase your names from all memory. Oh dear. Yeah, much appreciated. I wonder if his is gonna get destroyed this time. Amazing. 
it. Okay, I can't even see where he went. There we go. Enough! You mistake me for someone that has limits. I am the very wellspring of magic. The very... Remember that time we pulled one over on the Upbridge gang? I guess. I'm saying literally remember the time we pulled one over on the Upbridge gang. Devin. Oh. For Luna. Oh, and, and the Palathon. And Saren. And fuck, man. Oh. oh. Don't forget the Maladar. Right. And for the Maladar. No, dummy. Literally, don't forget the Maladar. It'll work. Damn, kid! Luck says it's a bust. Too much corruption is pouring out of it too fast. Their absorption powers can't slow it down, much less cork it. Then what are we going to do? The wound's still growing. I'm thinking. Think faster. Rasharnian Armada, this is the hand. Sandrak is dead and his madness is over. Stand down and disperse on my command. You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. Then we start thinking about how to fix the wound. Isn't there something else th that we can do about it, I mean? Of course. She never told you that immortals are charged with sacrificing themselves to heal the wound at the end of their tenure. Before you ask, yeah, it works. What? The mandate, a healing ritual, one that splits you from your magic, from your soul, it works. I never would have left the immortals if it didn't. Ask too much of a person. Would it work on something this big? If I... Jumped in? Exploded yourself right next to the binding stone, flooded all the fonts back into the shrouded realm. Yeah, could do. There's a hair of a mite. You won't survive, though. Good news? That bunny in your eyes is gone. And resolve is a powerful thing. You're the worst possible person to actually understand goodbyes. I'll tell her. Well, okay. You don't have time to teach me the ritual, so... Just stick it in your head on the way down. I know. Listen, kid. If you're gonna jump, just... Just jump over. Jack? It'll be okay, Luna. Jack!
What did he do? He fixed it. Never doubted him for a second. That's not the ending I was expecting. Okay, I thought it was going to be a happy ending. Jack. So, now that the wound's been unfucked for the moment, the rest is up to us. Magni orders are going to have to rewrite their entire magical playbooks and include the Alori in them. West of the Orenthal's, huh? That's a right nice stretch of green. Pretty hills, dark groves. Rook will love groves. They're all gardeners at heart, really. They deserve more. Yeah, well, what you started here, it's gonna spread. Lucium will follow our example. Yeah, sure it will. Word from Lavendry. Speak of the devil. Short version. The king and the dynastic families give their unending thanks. That's it? The language used was lovely, yet economical. No, I mean, did Kirkin... No word from her at all, sir. The king will recognize your claim as the head of your order, if you ask for it. She'll, uh... Yeah, she'll come around. No, she won't. Yeah, likely not. She never did with me. But you and Jack had the right of it, in a way I never did. Woke up right in time for the compliments. Keep them coming. There he is. You look good for someone that exploded. I got better. Paid having the Pentasod owe you a favor. Spit you back out the shrouded realm good as new. Mm, your legs still seem a bit pudding foot, though. Your, uh, <clears throat> friend left when she saw you were on the mend. She said she wasn't sure where she was gonna go. Yeah, that tracks. So what's next? Well, plenty of Sandrak loyalists are still out there, running amok and causing trouble, refusing to believe he's really dead. You got any loose ends, kid? Wouldn't expect to tie him up in peace. And what about the Immortals? Rasharn's withdrawing back to the front. We'll take advantage of that time and try to rebuild. And, uh, under your leadership? I take it you have an opinion on that. I mean, yeah, I, um, I think it should be you. I see. I was thinking the same thing. You were? Oh, that's great. It totally should be you, for sure. Totally. Awesome, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be me at all, <laughs> right? Oh, hell no. Okay, well, that's a little rude. I mean, that would be the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, that could no. <clears throat> Yeah, Literally no way, can't think right? Of anything. But like, worse. why not though? How? Like, you ever, like, you haven't even then thought about it? Being the leader. I'm, I mean, <laughs> we could. I'm, it's funny though. Okay. Listen, it's funny. It's well, you know, we've been idea. through a lot. We, I'd love to see it. Well, I don't. You know, maybe we should try. A trial. Just for, well, what is that? Just for shits and giggles. I think I've proven myself more yeah, than it. once. I, I healed the wound. And that's the end. Okay, I'm glad he survived. I was like, man, that was a sad end. It was like, what? So it's gonna be one of those where basically everything moves forward. You know, everyone goes on with their lives, kind of thing. We we saved everything, but at the sacrifice of our own life, kind of thing. But I'm so glad that he survived. It makes sense. The Pentasod owed him a favor, already liked him to begin with. So it was kind of makes sense that, oh yeah, to literally just spit him out of basically the realm death, that whole thing. So yeah, okay. So, Mortals of Avium, as we always do whenever the end credits go by. This music is a lot. I gotta crank it way down. Anyways, as we always do at the end, I go over basically how I felt about the game, the ending, if I think it's worth it, my review, well not really a review, but like my rating for it and everything. So let's start from the top. That ending, that was so good. I love the fact that basically it like, it was just so satisfying kicking Sandrag and then basically Jack sacrificing himself and everything. It really had a lot of weight to it. I am glad that they didn't kill him off because I did really hope that he would come back. I love the fact that Zendara is going to be the leader and everything because I like her character. She's really great. Um, sad that Luna just left without saying anything, but I have a feeling we'll run across her eventually again, kind of thing, you know, in the future. But, yeah, so that was a really great ending. Okay, so now, for my kind of rating review, etc. of the game. First off, let's go with gameplay-wise. The gameplay is so much fun. 
I like that there's three different types of each magic, of the three different magics, so there's like a total of, just isn't that nine, I think, yeah, there's like nine different types of magic you use, plus all the abilities and everything, it's very, fl like, uh, fluid, it's fun to use, the attacks are really fun, but they're straightforward enough to where it's, like, not overcomplicated, a lot of the mistakes was just because I'm not great at shooter games, and I'm not the best at, um, or what you call it, like dodging and stuff. That was the main thing that was like really hurting me. That sand drag fight was actually pretty easy compared to because I was able to dodge a lot of his attacks. I'm better at focusing on one enemy, I think is my thing. But anyways, so gameplay wise, gameplay is so much fun. If you like shooters, if you like magic slinging games, if you like anything like that, it is a lot of fun. Also, if you like games with quite a bit of a challenge, because it was pretty difficult, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, so I think it's good in that aspect. Um, story, the story is so good. I love the characters the setting, the way the story played out, it did not go every, like, time there was something, it wasn't like a, there wasn't like a plot twist where it was just like, oh, they're doing plot twists for the sake of plot twists, where it's just like, oh, didn't see that coming, didn't see that coming, it was like, no, it was like perfectly set up to where every time the story changed to go a different direction, it was more so like this was always going on in the background, you just never really noticed it, or they set it up to be foreshadowed later, it was really great writing, the character writing and dialogue was so good, I actually really enjoyed talking to the characters and liked the characters and wanted to talk to them more, so that was great, so kudos to them on that part. Graphically, the game is gorgeous. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much like every major category. Oh, the music, the sound in this game is really great too. I love that it's like really great to where it's not too in your face. So sometimes the music is a little loud, but I think that's more just a sound design thing. I think that also goes with too. Some of the dialogue had like a crinkling effect, and I don't think it was on my end because I noticed when I was editing the videos, it had like the crinkling. So I think that might be an issue that they might need to patch out. I don't know. Or it still could be my setup, maybe, and it's just even my computer's having the issue. I don't know. But yeah, so. That's all of the, like, review part of it, so rating stuff. Okay, first of all, price-wise, I got the Deluxe Edition, as you guys know, because I tried to get the DLC in the beginning and everything. I can't necessarily rate it, I'm not gonna... Because normally I'd be like, well, I paid this much for it, you know, so I paid for the full price, got the Deluxe Edition, but because I bought that under my personal, like, uh, PlayStation account, the way EA did it, I can't use that Deluxe Edition stuff on my... this Bon Fox account. And so, I don't think it would be fair to me to rate it at the $80 for the Deluxe Edition. I think that's what it paid. Or was it 70 I can't remember now. But whatever I paid for it, because I couldn't actually use the Deluxe stuff. So, at $60 is how I'll be rating it, just an FYI, because I want to be transparent with you guys about that. So, going at the $60 price tag, I do think the game could be worth it. At full price. It's a lot of fun. It's a pretty good story lengthwise. There's a lot of stuff that we skipped out on, just because I was like, I wanted to get back into the story. I was so into it but you could always go back and do it. I think that, I don't know for sure, but I think it's actually gonna let us also go back into the game and like, I don't know if it's like a new game plus or just like a continue or what, but I think we'll be able to go and clear up more stuff. So I don't think we're like locked out of that. But yeah, there was a lot of side stuff, like all the feigns, there was lots of chests we never got. We never actually got um, a legendary maelstrom weapon, which I don't know where we would have got one from because I feel like we got a lot of the chests, but there was like over a hundred and something red chests that we never opened. So we need to open a lot more of those and everything. So there's a lot of content to the game. So yes, I do think if these are your type of games, it is definitely worth the $60. Again, I never use the deluxe stuff, so I can't necessarily rate it on that. So I'm not going to rate on that. So I can't necessarily recommend or not recommend that at that price. Um, if the game goes on sale, I do recommend the game on sale. Any sale price, I think, is a fair price for it because it is a fun game. It has a lot of replay value. It has a lot of difficulty challenges. I mean, we didn't even, we weren't able to feed any of the special bosses that are supposed to give, I think, like a special weapon or something, you know, like the special red feigns and everything. So that's when, like, there's a lot of content that we just never got to fully experience because I'm not good enough or I didn't have the equipment at the time to do it. So it's a lot of end game, post game, new game plus possibly. I don't know if there is that. But there's a lot of that kind of post-game content kind of thing, or later in the game, if you will, kind of thing, or to go back and do, or whatever. Or like I said, a new game plus, again, I don't know if they have it, we'll find out after the credits are over, obviously. But yeah, so it's a lot of content. So for the price, or any sell price, I do think it's worth the game. Full, I, I would say pretty much at full price it's always recommended, unless this type of game isn't your cup of tea kind of thing, and you're not really sure. If you would like the game, then I would definitely wait for it to go on sale, but I think just about any percentage off would be totally fine for this game because it is well made. There was very few glitches I had. Most of the glitches were just weird things where it was just like I push a button and it could be on my end that I'm pushing the wrong button because sometimes I fat finger my controller whenever I'm getting nervous, like I'm like slamming buttons down. So some of the weird glitches stuff could have just been me. But it was generally no real bugginess to it. So I, I think it's a very well-made game. It's really fun. The story is fantastic and so enjoyable. The gameplay is extremely fun and fast-paced and easy to pick up. And there's you could really see like how the upgrade system works and everything. 
so I can see you getting a lot stronger. I bet the game is fun if once you beat it on like a normal mode to go to a higher difficulty and maybe try to get even harder, you know, to get better at it and everything. And I, like I said, if there's a new game plus, that would work really great for this type of system. So again, I think my rating for it on that aspect would be it's definitely worth the money. I don't know about the deluxe stuff because like I said, I can't rate that since we didn't get to try it on this. Um, I don't, what was I gonna say? Um, I don't think if this isn't your normal type of game, if you're not great at shooters or whatnot, I don't like super recommend it at full price just because of the fact that as a someone like me who I'm about, I'm a mediocre shooter player whenever it comes to those type of games. So I, I enjoyed it, but I was kind of, you know, nah on the fence kind of thing. So if you're one of those type of people, you, I might not recommend it at full price just for that. But overall, though, it's definitely a great game. So I would probably rate it probably about an 8 out of 10. It's like a really good game, I gotta say. It, it was fun. It kept my attention. There was always something new. The environments were gorgeous. The exploring was a lot of fun being able to, like, whip around or try to find little secrets or try to, you know, kind of cheat to get to an area. You know, that was always fun. The main thing that I seemed to have the issue with was whenever you get swarmed by enemies... It was so hard to get them off of you, especially whenever all the enemies swarming you all have shields or armor or even regen. It's like you can't take them down fast enough. And part of that could be, one, because I'm not that great, but also because I need to upgrade the stuff more because, we, you know, we didn't fully max out our upgrade tree for one, obviously. But also a lot of our gear wasn't maxed out. I mean, for our Maelstrom thing that we were using wasn't even a legendary one. I could have switched probably to a legendary green weapon if I was okay with using a lower rate of fire one, but I just felt like the lower rate of fire one, it wasn't with how bad my aim is and for how many times I need to actually hit the enemy, I think it wasn't doing good enough. But that was like the only, that's when like most of my complaints about the game tend to come from a place of I'm not that great at shooters, I am a bad aim, and it's not really a game that I'm like that great at. So it's just more so player error. But I was able to, as I played it, I got better and better at it. Like as you guys saw in that last Sandrak fight, I was actually doing pretty good, I gotta say. I was dodging quite often. I was keeping out of the way of stuff. I was doing my shield where I'd put it up, block some text, and put it down to let it recharge before it would break. So I think part of the problem too could come from the way that I built our talent skill tree stuff too. I probably could have built that better. I mean, you can reset it at any time, which I love games that let you do that. But so that's kind of something that also caused some issues, I feel like, because of the fact that I noticed that once we upgraded the, um, the blue magic skill tree to increase by shield health by 50%, so we had like 200 and something shield health after that point, it got a lot easier after that. And I think that's the main thing is I sacrificed a lot of my shield health because whenever we first started, a lot of my armor and stuff that I had equipped gave me shield health as one of the passive traits and everything. And so my shield health was already about two to 250. But then whenever I got all that new gear that didn't have that, I sacrificed getting rid of the shield and everything for more damage. And so my shield got down to, I think it was like 150 or lower health. And so it was like, okay, my shield was getting one or two shot by most enemies, which meant that I was just tanking all the damage myself, which I had high armor, but it wasn't good enough to, you know, block all of it. But anyways, I'm kind of rambling at this point because these are really long credits, like really long credits. And I don't like just being completely silent on credits because I feel like it may be kind of, you know, boring to just sit here and watch the credits roll. I mean, you could always skip through them and everything to see what comes after. Also, some games, the credits go in, like, the, I remember the one where I was doing uh, one of my review little sessions at the end. It was, like, the credits were, like, two minutes long. I was, like, okay, they're already done. I guess I'm going to talk while we're at the main menu. But anyways. But, yeah, so, basically, a recap. I recommend the game highly. If you don't like shooters, I say give it a try, especially if it's on sale or whatever. I say pick it up. It is a very fun game. It's got a pretty good learning curve to it. There is easier difficulties. We played on the normal one, so that wasn't even, you know, it wasn't too difficult, and I'm not the greatest shooter, so you could probably even do it on easier difficulty if you had to. The game is lots of fun for exploration-wise. There's a lot of backtracking stuff you could do to even get more stuff, but I didn't want to waste too much of our time just going through every level over and over again to 100% everything. Um, there's lots of the characters are great and engaging. The story is fantastic. Very like superhero fantasy world-esque kind of story writing, almost like a TV show. It was really cool. I would love to see a TV show of this actually. Like a live action TV show of this would be so, I could totally see them with the actors and everything. It would be so great. But yeah, so as I'm like recapping, great game, recommend it. Full price or on sale, I recommend it. Just be aware of your own preferences whenever it comes to games and what games you're good at or enjoy playing. As you guys saw, I did get frustrated with some parts, but yeah, I 8 out of 10, great game. So at this point, I'm just kind of rambling because I think we're almost at the end of the credits, but I'm not sure. I can never tell because some games, they all, every game kind of has a difference. Usually most games have the, the directors and producers and the like cast listing, the voice acting cast near the top. And then they usually do some of the, uh, whatchamacallit, like the third party helpers at the bottom of the credits usually, like towards the end. But I'm not sure with this one because I don't know what all of this stuff is at this point. 
So I'm just kind of talking and waiting to see what happens because I'm not sure. And I don't really want to skip the credits because I want to give all the people that, you know, worked on this game the credit they deserve because it it is a really great game well programmed in my opinion because of the fact not a lot of glitches and the stuff works smoothly if the animation's really cool too but i gotta say too i was a little i was a little worried whenever we first got introduced to jack's character because i know sometimes that type of personality can be really annoying or you could be like oh great this is my player character i'm kind of you know the cocky jerk kind of dude or like the sarcastic or whatever but it worked really well i never the only time i ever got mad at jack and his character was when he went against against the orders and decided to instead of destroying the, the 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 it's not a seal but was it a seal whatever the thing was that sandrak was trying to get a hold of whatever he decided to take the power to control it instead of destroy it that's the only time i got mad at him because i'm like why would you make that decision do you think you know better but i'm also kind of glad he did because of the fact that well no because ugh. okay here's why it's it needed to happen for the story to play out so I am glad it happened for that because otherwise we would have never had the stuff where we needed to, Sandrak never would have taken over fully. Um, we would have never had the conversation with the Pentasod finding out that the Aluri are the ones who actually need to, they need to be recognized and help out and we need to allow them to do their job basically. So none of that would have happened if we would have destroyed the stone, but also a lot of death and damage could have been presented, but eh. And I'm still curious what happened with Kirk. Like, where did she go? I know she was pissed, and she was basically like, you doomed us all, screw you, kind of thing. And it's like, well, okay, is she gonna eat those words now? It kind of would, it would have been very satisfying to see her be like, you know, I should have trusted you, or be like, well, I guess it all worked out in the end, or her getting, like, fired, or maybe hired on at a lower rank. I don't know. I just would have liked to see some sort of closure with that. It could be an after credit sequence, or maybe it's something you have to 100% the game for. Oh, that would kind of suck. I don't know about that now. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Wow, this is going on a long time. Very long time. But yeah, so I would have liked a little closure on that. Like I said, there was enough closure with the Luna thing because they left it open-ended enough because she is kind of a, you know, she she's kind of like a nomad. She runs around, doesn't stay in one place long. I like the part with Zendara where, we, you know, that whole end conversation with her, it's like her and Jack are finally really good friends. They've connected. She's finally accepted him to, like, to an extent and really like that. Their little relationship, I think, is going to be really great. They're going to be really great friends, and I love it. I like the fact, too, that uh, Thaddeus, it seems like he's come back into the fray. I'm still really sad about Devin. I would be interested to see what happens with Kenzie as well, because what's going to happen with that whole situation going on up there and everything? That's like I, that's a sign of a really good story and a really good game though. Where after it's over, you're not wanting more. You're not wanting for more in the sense that oh, it didn't complete. It wasn't enough. I I felt like that just was rushed and not done. No, I'm wanting for more in the sense that I'm like I want a sequel. I would or a DLC or something. Like, I wouldn't mind seeing more. It left in a place where it tied up about 90% of the loose ends. There's not really, it's open-ended enough though to where if they wanted to, they can make more, but they don't have to. And it's like, I wouldn't mind seeing more. I wouldn't mind having, and there might be after, again, we're in the credits. So there might be after the credits, like, oh, there's now some side missions or something opened up where it's like, oh, you can go to this to help kind of repair the world as it's recovering from the wound, or you can kind of see where everyone's at afterwards or go clear up the maps, or we don't know exactly what's going to happen after it's done because we're still in them. But I, I'm, I'm kind of speculating at this point and kind of just, you know, talking my thoughts out. Also rambling because of the fact that, again, these credits have been going on for, what, about 10 minutes now, I think? Pretty long credits. I can't remember the last time I had a game with this long of credits. It makes sense, though, because a lot of the games I've been playing generally had smaller teams, I think, working on them. I think this one had a pretty large team. At least it seems like it did. I know there was one game I played. I can't remember what it was called now. I played it about three or four months ago, and I beat the game. And the credits were a list of like six people. I was like, it was a small team. I was like, I didn't realize the game that it was made by a small team. I can't remember what the game was now, but anyways. But yeah, I think we're almost done though, because it's if it's in alphabetical order, this is the VO section from the different countries and everything. So this might be the end, but I'm not sure. But I love the fact though too that Luna showed up in the end and everything, and that basically she called out Sandrak that, you know, that he never had the people's interest in mind. As soon as she gave him the power he was looking for, he just wanted the power and then he left everyone to basically screw everyone else and that's what i was like that's the total vibe i got from him that basically he wanted the power and once he got the power he saw no use for everyone else he has what he wants and he's gonna do what he wants he's not there to help people he's if it's in his interest he'll help you but if it doesn't align with his interest or isn't going to benefit him in some way or it's in his way he will not do anything to lift a finger he will actually watch you burn and i'm like oh my gosh it's it's it makes me wonder, did he go crazy before or after leaving the Immortals? And again, I kind of understand a bit of his anger and hatred because of the whole, you know, basically forced sterilization of his people in a sense. But at the same time, 
he went kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs there in the end, like, yeah, literally thinking that the Pentasod, the god of the literal worlds, did something, was doing the wound and creating the wound and everything and hurting the people out of jealousy. Like, okay, I think we're at the end. But yeah, it, it, it was definitely, yeah. Oh, I completely, I totally forgot, oh crap, I just, I just thought of something I was going to say and then my brain just like shuddered for a second. That was weird. Oh, that was really weird. It just like, my brain just stuttered for a second. I don't know what I was going to say now. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's the end of the credits. Is there going to be some sort of end credit sequence or, okay. Okay, continue the ventures. Congratulations, you have completed the main storyline. You can continue to explore, complete shroud veins, find all golden chests and legendary gear, and defeat some of the strongest magni of Rasharn the Sixth. The adventure continues. Okay. So, epilogue. We did it. Sandrak's dead, and somehow I'm still alive. The wound has stopped growing and even shows signs of shrinking. There's an easy peace with the Alori that, that we need to strengthen through time and trust. There's still Rasharnian holdouts all over 8 p.m., though. My mission isn't quite over. Oop. Hey, we got a health increase. And this Sintanis. What's this? Is that going to be our Maelstrom item? If it is, I'm going to be so bad. No, it's the tri Triarch Sigil? Wait, what? Triarch Sigil of the Tyrant of Rasharn, won from his ancestral enemies among the Arcan? All Shred, Shatter Ground Speed, Bash Damage, and Torrent Missiles plus one. What the heck is a Triarch Sigil, though? It's lower capacity, lower fire rate, but... I, well, it's only a little bit higher damage. What the heck is that? Is it under every category? Yeah, there's a different one for each one. They all have the same passives and everything. But it's, uh, whatchamacallit? It's got different stats, I think, for each one. Yeah, it's got different stats for each one. So how does it attack that, I wonder? If I was to put it here... This has got me very curious now. So if I was to put it on... Okay, I actually really like that one. Okay, cool, so we'll run that on our thing here. So what's our epilogue chapter? Is it just do whatever we want? If we talk to her, does she say anything? We'll just see real quick. Grand Magnus? I'm gonna get used to that. What's on your mind, Initiate? Believe it or not, I don't do that well without orders. Interesting. Because you don't do well with orders. But hunt down Sandrak loyalists still active in Lucium and Kalthus. Explore. Hone your skills and strengthen your magic. If you can. Without the path, how are we going to do selection? To find more immortals, I mean. Who says she's gone? You came back. And I reignited the fonts across Avium. Right. Including the one the path formed around. I wouldn't write her off just yet. Still, we'll need to rebuild a new fortress around it all. There's a lot of airship workers in Saren that wouldn't mind a contract like that. Good idea. I'll have Selko look into it. Everything happened so quickly that we... We never had a chance to talk about Devin. I don't want to. That whole month after the Palathon fell. Our magic gone. The survivors escaping here to Glavegate only to find it under constant siege. Trying to lead all those people without any sign of hope. I made a lot of peace with a lot of things back then. And Devin's death was one of them. He was my friend. He died a hero. That's enough for me. I get it. When things settle, maybe I'll visit his family in the Bracelet Isles off the coast of Lavenry. Pay my respects. You should come. You bet. The whole thing that happened with Kirkin? I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle that. What do you mean? She led our order for decades, Jack. And there's not a general in the Light's army that she doesn't have leverage on. And every one of the Lucian Magni houses owes her some kind of favor. What? Even after she literally wanted to kill the thing that created their magic? Time moves on. Things like that get forgotten quicker than you might expect. Lamenting what happened with Kirken? Not as important as preparing for how she comes at us next. 
Thought I'd check in is all. Nothing to report here. Carry on. Okay, well, there was some closure. So the whole tie-up loose ends quest is basically just saying, go do whatever the heck you want now. So I was right. So after there is, I guess, no new game plus, at least that's the vibe I'm getting from this. However, we can go and pretty much do anything we want now. And there's a lot to clarify. As you can see, just in this area alone, we have another 11 gold chest and two shroud veins we've never done. So yeah, that's the game then, guys. I really like this new weapon too. Okay, I'm a little curious. So whatever, I bet, you know what? I bet that's what it is. Whatever element I put it under is how it fires. But is it rapid fire under all of them? Or, sorry, I'm just really curious now. So I have the bail more equipped, but if I equip, oh, I can only have uh, the Sintanas equipped under one. Uh, so let's put on that. And then if I was to put you. Oh, no. Okay, so it does have a specific fire rate in mind. Okay, interesting. So that one is more like the, the one we were using, which isn't bad. The the Balemore. No, the Balemore is better, I think. What about Morbane's fire with it? Okay, that is a very fast blast. Holy crap. Blast rate on that thing is insane. But the damage is way down. So I guess I'll leave it on this one. Not that it really matters, but... Okay, cool. So yeah, the only thing left to do then in the game is to literally go around and collect and do all the challenges and everything, earn all the cool gear and whatnot. So there is a lot of post-game content too if you didn't do all this before. If you did all this beforehand, there's probably not a whole lot to go and do necessarily. You know what I mean? Like there's not going to be too many places and things to go and see. But I don't think that's a bad thing to where basically you could either complete all the game before on your way there or after and there's always like you know probably enemies appear and you can upgrade gear kind of check everything out but yeah that's immortals of avium guys i really enjoyed the game and i hope you guys did too so thank you for being here with me on this journey the game was a lot of fun um oh there's a bit of lore sorry i saw something glowing um if you guys want to see me do any of the challenges or anything or to like get some like get all the legendary weapons try to do the six challenges i don't even know if i want to go that route because i don't know if i could do them that would probably just be so stressful but i might be able to if i upgrade my gear and try to do one at a time or maybe go get more of the other shroud fangs to try to get some health ups and magic ups and whatnot but we'll see if you guys want to see anything like that though let me do know down in the comments but other than that, this is where we're going to leave it. This has been Immortals of Avium. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!